Hi, my name is Biraj. I am the founder of Timechart Project Management Software. Today we want to discuss about the topic Earn Value. Often people get confused with this topic. They think that uh, Earn Value is something like we earn from a client or from a customer. Actually, it's not the case. Uh, so basically when we say value, so that means we are generating a value within our business, within our project. So something we would like to see how efficiently we are performing in, in the project scenario. So um, earned value is often compa it's compared with plan and actual. So when we say plan and actual, we understand this topic very easily. Because say for example, plan is 100 and actual is 120. So we know that there is a difference of actual cost against plan. So we can easily arrive at the variance between the two. But the problem with this concept is it just measures the cost. It does not measure the efficiency of the business. So in order to bring, measure the efficiency of the business, we have got a concept called earn value. So what you see value here represents the efficiencies, how the projects are performing. So what is efficiency? Say, for example, you're supposed to deliver 30 units uh, in day two and you end up in delivering 40 units uh, end of day two. So that means you have delivered 40 units extra on day two. So that's the 10 units efficiencies on day two. Um, likewise, if it goes other way, other way around, so uh, you, you, you are under efficient. Uh, yeah. And also sometimes if, if you're just performing as per the plan, so earn value is always going to be equal to plan value. Now let's take this into uh, an example. Say for example, we are in day one, day two, and day three. In day one, we are supposed to do activity A, and day, uh, day, day two, we have to do two parallel activity, B and C, and C will take all the way to day three to complete. So that means uh, C will be 50% completed on day two, and another 50% on day three. So if we plot this uh, in a cost parameter, say for example, Plan cost of activity A is $70 and activity B is $100 and activity C is $200. So if you look at the plan cost up to day 3, it's $200 plus $100 plus $70, it's $370. Uh, now if you want to see the plan cost at the end of day 2, it's going to be plan value $70 plus $100 plus 50% of 200. So that makes it 70 plus 100 plus 100. So that makes plan cost is 270 for us. Quite simple. Now, how do we, how do we know the efficiencies or how do we know the values, earn value of the business? Now, now to understand the value of the business, we need to know the output from these activities either output or maybe in terms of percentage. So for example, end of day one, you have done 100%. End of day two, this is also 100% done. And now, for activity C, you have done, you're supposed to do 50% as per the plan, but you have actually done 70%. So that means you have done 20% more on activity C. So now let's measure uh, earn value. So it's quite simple. Like I said, if you have done exactly as per the plan, it's always uh, going to be uh, equal to plan. So we just need to multiply the cost with the percentage progress. So now this is 100% plus this also is completed 100%. Plus, now 200 is now 70%. So, as you can see now, we end up with 70 plus 100 plus 140. So, that makes our earn value 310. So, if we want to compare between these two, which is something called uh, schedule variance, so that, that means you're comparing the schedule of 
estimate uh, earn value against plan value so that comes with schedule variance earn value minus plan value so that makes it 310 minus 270 and that comes to uh, whatever the number 40 so the schedule variance is 40 now likewise we can also compare what is the activity cost of these uh, what is the actual cost uh, of these particular activities let's presume the actual cost is 70 here is 90 and here is also 90 so that makes it 70 plus 180 so whatever the number uh, is coming so that makes it 250 so now if you want to see what is the cost variance so obviously you again want to measure what is your earn value minus what is the actual cost value so now if we make it uh, make the difference between the two cost variance is earn value minus actual cost and that makes it 310 minus 250 that's 60. Uh, this is just measuring the cost now if you want to measure in terms of percentage which means what is the uh, what is the performance indicator uh, between these values uh, it's we have got two parameters once we have one we call it as schedule performance indicator and cost performance indicator so schedule performance indicator is just your earn value divided by the plan value and same way cost performance indicator which is earn value divided by cost price actual cost so that makes it uh, 310 250 whatever the percentage is what the efficient let's presume this is 1.2 I have not calculated just coming up with a number so that means we have performed 20% better than what is the actual cost and likewise if we if we see uh, the percentage that comes between earn value and plan value uh, if that number is above one that means that much of percentage we have performed better uh, in in the project I hope uh, you like this topic and if you'd like to follow us uh, please visit us at timechart.com or subscribe to our channel Thank you.